and all because of that one little girl who completely misunderstood my intentions. Little Red Riding Hood. Now, if ever anybody tried to be a gentleman, tried to cultivate a Frenchman, but I did. But that little girl, you read the story, of course. Breaks my heart the way they twisted the facts. <laughs> and now that it's out in paperback, I suppose I shall never live it down. This thing is a complete fairy tale. Red Riding Hood is not even her real name. Her name was Lillian. Lillian Hood. Now, I will admit that at first I had a severe personal problem, ambition. Let me tell you my version of the story. Once upon a Christmas Eve, on the edge of the forest. Ah, there they are. Pretty as a picture. Hmm. You'll notice, however, that Mother is doing all the work while Red Riding Hood is preening at her mirror. But that wasn't enough for her. Oh, no. In sheer vanity, she dreamed of being ravishing. Oh, Mouse, look at this coat. If only I had something pretty to wear on Christmas. Like a lovely red ball gown. Oh, Reggie, darling, I hate leaving the hunt ball early. But do fetch my chinchilla. Tomorrow, I'm riding town to dawn. And I shall bag me a box. Tally who? Lillian, are you ready? I'm going to leave for Granny's house. Come in, Mother. Oh. Well, tell me frankly, can I get away with this tattered old thing? Oh, no. I wouldn't mind being so ragged if it just went such a scrubby color. If only it were red or something. Now, you know I can't ask for a new coat now. You know how poor we are? Honestly, for a field mouse who can't talk, you say the silliest things. Oh, no. Really? Oh, is it red? Oh, Lillian, this present you have for Granny, what is it? Uh, I made it some knee warmers, Mother. Knee warmers? Oh, what a thoughtful gift. Yes. Now, here. I think you should have your present now. Oh, Mother, if it's what I think it is. Oh, Mother. Oh, Mother. Oh, Mother, it's very pretty. Thank you. You really like it? Oh. Who wouldn't like something like this? It's just absolutely blue. Yes. Now everyone will call you Little Blue Riding Hood. And look. 
Inside, it's all lined with red. Red? Inside? Oh, Mother! Oh, Mother, it is! I can wear it inside out! Oh, Mother! Oh, oh, oh. And a hood! Oh, go get it, go get it. under the storytellers took her side to poot. With that, the crafty wolf pounced on poor Red Riding Hood and in one great bite swallowed her up. It's not true. It's not true. And I want to thank the management for giving me equal time. Well, there you are. Now, to get back to the facts of the Red Riding Hood incident, have you noticed that the girl had rather flashy taste? Hmm? Believe me, this girl was stepping out, dressed to the teeth, to coin a phrase. And as she went tripping through the forest, believe me, she looked good enough to eat.
And set wolfism back 20 years. All you blokes think about is your stomach. There are other, more meaningful relationships, you know. I intend to become Lillian's friend. <laughs> you scavengers can laugh, but I'm through with being an outsider. You think a classy kid like her is going to make friends with a wolf? Just because I'm a wolf don't mean that I ain't refined. Stand back, you miserable misfits. <laughs> How do you do? Oh! Oh, my goodness! I thought you were a bear! A bear? <laughs> the comfort of the season, my dear. Why, thank you! Might I say that your riding hood is a beauteous, exquisite red? You noticed me? Ah, even a country gentleman can be conscious of haute couture. Uh, yes, I, I think it has a certain something to it. Pretty, my pretty. Whither are you going? Oh, to Grandmother's house on the other side of the forest. How famishing. I see that you're giving presents to all the forest creatures. Why, yes, this year I've made bean bags for all my friends. And none for me. But I don't know you. None for me. Oh, well, it's not important. Oh, I'm sorry, but you are a stranger. What's the matter, child? My mother, she told me I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. And she's quite right. All the riffraff about the undesirable element. For instance. What? Oh, don't be alarmed. They're just former acquaintances of mine. Long hair musicians oh. who hire out for weddings and wakes. A groovy group. Hi. Hello, love. Through the the bracken together. Oh, no, please. I would rather go alone. Oh, uh, first you, you have no presence for me, and then you deny me your presence. Get the play on words. I know. I'll bring you a present next year. You will? Oh, that would be most savory of you. You really will put me on your Christmas list? Of course I will. Oh, but you haven't told me your name. Oh, that's very ravenous of me. My card. Hi. Mr. Lone T. Wolf. Yes. The T is for timber. You're a wolf? Yes. One of the wolves. We're a literary family. There's Thomas, Virginia. I'm Lone, but you can call me Lonnie. No! What have you heard? Some malicious gossip. Oh, it's the little animals. From time to time, some of them, they disappear. Oh, and you think that I? Oh, my dear, I'm a confirmed vegetarian. Mind you, sometimes a wolf does get a little upset and then someone is eaten up, but that's the seamy side of nature. Please, I must go. You don't like me. No, really, I think you're very genteel, but you are a... A wolf. Go on, say it. Well, you said it yourself. A wolf. Then what's in a name? Well, I don't no, it's just wolves. Wolves are, wolves are different. Different? Oh, oh, please, sir. Look, I didn't mean to offend you. I just, look, I know, I know. If I were a wolf, I would really like you a lot. I'm not good enough for you, is that it? Oh, please, I'm sure you have lots 
lots of other friends. I'm going to be late. Wait, you don't know the real me. Confirmed vegetarian. What are you trying to be, you ruddy rabbit? Wolves are supposed to be mean. Yeah! yeah. All right, done a vacation. It's the one thing we've got. Yeah! And where does it get us? Out in the snow, chasing sleds, creeping up on campers, stealing bunnies. It's a rotten life. Well, I want something better. Respectability. She didn't like us at all. She liked me. And next year, she's going to give me a present. An imported bean bag just for me. <laughs> <laughs> she conned you, booby. Yeah, booby, she conned you. We have been stop, stop, stop. We have been stop, be dub, be dub. And when we're stop, hey, Bob, how do we treat them? Send them a nasty note. One that's designed to get their goat. Better than that. We have a or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is noble in the mind to suffer or to take arms and legs and have this girl for supper. We have been fight, fight, fight. We have been fight, be joy, be joy. Why are you acting so shabby and shallow? When we are hoist, they flight with becoming a design. Some with a big marshmallow. Ow! But a wolf with teeth all gnashing is passé and out of fashion. Why should I eat up Red Riding Hood or harm her? Let her get to know me better. I'm a charmer. She'll get over her aversion. She has kept her last aversion. Late, late, late. You're in an agitated state. Well, we can hardly wait just to be chummy. Let her go tra la la over to Grandma, Mama, Mama. yearn for a better life, to seek affection. No, you'd have done the same. Yet hear what they say. Ah, said the sly wolf, why not pick some wild flowers for Granny? He knew that if she did, he'd get there first and devour the old lady. Wrong, absolutely wrong. I never laid a tooth on that stringy old bird. It was all Lillian. I simply found the girl enchanting. Determined to, to win her over, I followed at a discreet distance. As I chop, chop, chop on a log, 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 I sing the happy woodsman's serenade. My, what a brave-sounding voice. Hello. Hello. I didn't hear you coming. I should think a little girl like you would be afraid to go through the forest all alone. Oh, no. Now that I'm older, I do it all the time. It's just a granny's house. Granny's house? Oh, 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 that little cottage over in Granny's ghost. Yes, I know that little cottage over in Granny's Gulch. Oh, I know that little cottage over in Granny's Gulch. Okay. I guess you must be a wood chopper. That's right. But there's more to it than that. What do you mean? Well, actually, I'm a prince. But I'm under a spell. It's one of those things. You're a prince? Under an enchantment? I'm not absolutely sure, but these days you can't count on anything. An enchanted prince? Oh, how 
fabulous. I'm almost sure of it. Oh, you have, you've had signs? Yes, when I walk home from work. The animals follow me and lick my hand. Oh, well, then you must be enchanted. No, maybe they just enjoy my, my golden tones. Oh, well, have you had other clues? Yes, I'm sure I'm under a spell, otherwise my thoughts would be clearer. Sometimes I go a whole week without one clear thought. Well, then you must be a prince. And I write poetry. Now you know only princes do that. No, I didn't know that about them, but then you're the first prince I've ever met. Probable prince. Mm, probable prince. Well, anyway, your coming by has cleared up my thinking a lot. Me? Are you having a clear thought now? Yes. Oh, a poetic thought? Oh, 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 I'm so proud. I love being instrumental. Oh, here. I want you to have a little something from me. What is it? Knee warmers. Knee warmers. Three knees. Oh, but you can wear them around your elbows, too. I will. Thank you. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> and then every time you look at your elbows, you'll think about me. But, but I don't have a present for you. Well, that's all right. You don't give a present just to get a present back. That's not the fun of it. Wisely spoken. But is it wise for you to go through the forest alone? I'd better go with you. Oh, no. Oh, no, you don't have to. I'm perfectly all right. At my age, young ladies have learned to get along on their own. <laughs> well. Oh, wait. Yes? I do have a present for you. You need a song along the way. song with you if wind gets strong along the way recall a rhyme or two if I'd a golden coach with silver bells and beams on I'd lift you and your dreams on You'd get there long Before a song But as things are The things I've got Are fairly Sparse and few I don't want anything to happen to you. Unless it was something nice. If I'd a golden coach with silver bells and beams on, I'd lift you and your dreams on. You'd get there long before a song. But as things are, the things I've got Sparse and few A jingle, a rhyme Will last you for a time So take my song along
Yodling woodsman's making time. I'll nip this budding romance in its prime. And if this baritone should hurt be true, then I shall be best man and eat them both. I'm so that perhaps you'd be able to break the spell I'm under. Spell? Are you enchanted too? Ah, I know, you're really a prince. A king. A king? Oh, but you're not sure. Positive, an absolute monarch, and my mind is as clear as a bell. What are you thinking about right now? I'm thinking about people who give other people presents. They're the luckiest people in the world. Oh, Your Majesty, please let me give you a little something. For me? Oh, no, you shouldn't. There. A cookie. Yes, with raisins. Merry Christmas. The story of my life. She gives him beautiful knee warmers, and I get a rotten raisin cookie. Oh, thank you. Uh -huh. And when I eat it, I'll think of you. Somehow you seem familiar. Have we met before? Only in my dreams, dear heart. My, for a king, you're very romantic. Now, oh, that's my Achilles' heel. Beneath this magnificent facade, I hide a basically fragile nature. But a king is... A king is supposed to be strong and wise and pompous. I, I know, I try, but I'm not worldly enough. Give me a beautiful face, a sweet smile, and I go all marmalade and mush. I'm naive. I'm Mr. Innocence himself, so why deceive? You'd be amazed to know how readily I blush. I stand here now, both cheeks of blush. Please, I 
pray. Don't take advantage of my glaring naivete. If worldly girls like you who lead us boys astray, but ooh, ah, I must not do. I'm so with fudgy heart find happiness. <laughs> Will he ever meet a soulmate who understands him? Oh, I'm sure. I look like a tower of strength at sight. But oh, how often I weep at night. Neath this regal breast beats the heart of a poet. And that's why I see rhyme. I'm so enchanted, it's embarrassing at times When other ears are hearing traffic, mine hears chimes And ooh, ah, ooh, I must not do Naive. Ooh! I know you now, you sneaky wolf! Wait, I know some golden old ears. Oh, no, you don't. You let go of me, you fake! You're not even a real king, you're just a pretender! Oh, you're a thief! So, insult to injury, puzzle me pain, be friendship done me face. I open my heart to her. And what do you get? A raisin cookie. But I know the way she's gone. And I know the shortcut. And I'll get to Granny's for her. Oh, well, I won. You see a wolf. I'm the wolfiest wolf in the world. Of course, that's true. Of course, it's true. She's on the menu now for good. I'll mortalize her. Like at Christmas, we chewed up the cowardly Englishman. Yeah. Yeah. Our first Noel. Yeah, that. Got the bike back in his car. Here. Oh, Martha! What, my voice? Oh, nothing, darling. It's just a little pre-nasal drip. No, she's not arrived yet. Really, you mothers fuss so. Martha, Hood, what could happen to Lillian? After all, we live in a very high-class part of the forest. Yes, I'm longing, longing to see my little granddaughter. I just feel I want to eat her up. Eat? You said eat? So. What, Martha? Tomorrow, Christmas Day, well, I was thinking of having you for dinner. 
You like that? It's a date then. Heaven to Betsy, I'm going to put on pounds. There's the bell, Martha. I told you not to worry. That's Granny. Trick or treat. Granny, behave yourself. We're all in this together. All right, Granny's coming. Uh, Merry Christmas, Granny. Merry Christmas, my darling. I see that you bought me some cookies. Yes, they're under the tree. Oh, well, we'll open them then uh, during the party. The party? Yes, I've invited some friends, darling, for Christmas Eve. Oh, well, is there anything that I can do to help you? Darling, we're counting on you. Oh, I see you've put the pot on. Yes. What are you going to cook? It's a surprise. But you'll be the first to know. Well, then, I'll set the table. How many? Six. Come here, darling. I want to look at you. My, how you've grown. <laughs> you must weigh at least 90 pounds. Oh, at least. At least. 20 minutes to the pound. Good. Oh, well, Granny, I just can't wait to meet your friends. And they'll just gloat over you, my dear, you delectable child. Come and give Granny a kiss. Oh, Granny, I love you so Bless your heart. She's a darling girl. Perhaps I've misjudged her. I'll give her another chance. Tell me, dear, did you meet anyone when you were walking through the forest? Oh, yes. There was this singing prince who'd been turned into a woodchopper. Oh, probably a gypsy entertainer, no doubt. Nobody else with more quality, someone more elegant and suave. Well, there was this one hairy person I met. Harry. Oh, you mean the outdoor type? Yes, he seemed awfully nice at first, Granny. But then I found out he was a wolf. <laughs> you wouldn't, wouldn't hold that against him, dear. After all, there's some very sweet wolf. Granny! Now, you know there's no such thing as a sweet wolf. They're just naturally evil, detestable, and vile. That's done it. She's asked for it. That young lady has baked her last cookie. Oh, Granny, I just can't wait for the party to start. Go! Give us a song, singing and dancing. What a wonderful way to go. Granny, play me something that was popular when you were a girl. Some Bach. Bach. All right, if you insist. <laughs> I'm a little out of practice. Oh, Granny, don't stop. Nothing could stop me now. Any final request? Oh, anything that fits the occasion. Something sentimental. Mm -hmm. And magical. Mm -hmm. And then, and then... And, uh, and yummy. Yes. This is one of those magical Christmases. In the heart of a child, oh, what Christmas is. My heart is a tight man. When I listen, I hear the man. A ding a ling, ding a ling, ding a ling, ding a ling, ding a ling. Ding a ling, ding a ling, ding a ling. I feel so Christmassy. As fragrant as a flower, maybe I should serve as sweet and sour. She will have a very lovely taste. You're a darling, you're my little anti pasto It's a wonder that I idolize her. She won't even need to tenderize her or pass me to glamorize and charge it to my diner's table. Ding a ling, ding a ling, ding a ling. Ding a ling, 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 
I chop, chop, chop on a log, log, log. I sing a happy Christmas serenade. Hello, Mouse, what can I do for you? Little Red Riding Hood, she's in trouble. The Wolf. And his pack, where? Better to see you with, my dear. <laughs> and Granny, what big ears you have. The better to hear you with, my dear. The better, the better, the better to eat, to eat, to eat, to eat, to eat, my dear. It's you! Too late, only child. I'm Spanish for your friendship, but now you're my fettuccine. Wait! You mustn't eat me! Why not? No! No! Wait! One last dance? The jig is up, Missy! No! No! To the pot red. You what? I'm seeing red. You beast! La Comedia e Finita! Off the car! Off the car! What? Help! Help! Ah. Help! Help! Stop walking! Can't you shuffle off with a little dig to see you? Wobbling woodsman. You. Be careful, he's you. a binder, Prince. You. You need a song along the way. So take my song with you. A jingle, a rhyme, will last you for a time. Show off. So take my song along. comes in and sings a note like that, he's a natural winner. You said it, Granny. No, I could have put up more of a fight, Lillian, but I just hate violence. I know, I know. Take him outside with the others. Misericordia. Mamma mia. I go, Lillian. Pity. We could have made beautiful music together. Misericordia. Tragica. You made a shirtless bruise out of an ordinary crummer or even dollar. Red just definitely is my color. Well, at least I didn't ruin Red Riding Hood's Christmas. And I did bring two wonderful people together. For Lillian later married that loud mouthed long chopper. Turned out he wasn't a prince after all. He was only an earl. Anyway, that's how it really was. A simple case of intended assault without intention. Why did I do it? I wanted to be noticed. Well, I live alone now and I'm reasonably happy. It's just that around holiday time, one does long for a circle of friends. Even a circle of one friend. It's odd. Excuse me. Yes? Hi. Oh, uh, listen, uh, we're having a little party. Uh, we thought we'd ask the neighbors. Oh, yes. 
Nothing special, just that skunks. That's very kind of you. Are you sure you want me? I'm a wolf, you know. Good. You'll give some class to the party. Oh. How about it? Yes. Yes, I should be delighted. Well. Oh, uh, you know where it is? The skunk cage? Yes, I think I'll be able to find it. See you over there, then. Right. Goodbye. The skunk cage. Well, it's a beginning. Sponsors of this program and ABC want to take this opportunity to extend their very best wishes to you for a very happy holiday season.